Now, to get us started, I want to I do something a little bit different than maybe some keynote speakers do, and I just, I just find that it works better for me. My background is education. I'm a former teacher. So I like to involve the students, if you will, in the learning. So I, you know, I never present a lecture. I have a philosophy about a lecture. <clears throat> when I die, may it be during a lecture. <laughs> because then the transition from life to death will be so minimal. Some of you had lots of breakfast. Some of you had two plates. So, uh, you know, we want to make sure that you don't find yourself dozing off this morning. So in just a moment, I'm going to ask you to turn to someone at your table. And I'm going to ask you to talk to them. But I want you to give them this, a response to this question. And that very simply is, what's one small success you already recognize for 2015? Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Well, Jones, it's, it's early in the year, and, and our numbers aren't you know, quite where they ought to be yet. Or, or you know, we've kind of, we got kind of a slow start. The cold weather's kind of moving. I don't mean that. What I mean is, what's a small success? Something that as you're sitting there right now, you're going, if we can keep this up all year, wow, we really will have something to celebrate next year. Something that's so small that maybe you, you say, Jones, that's, that's so trivial, I don't even want to mention it. Well, today's the day to mention it. What's some small success that you already recognize for 2015? Something that's so small that right now it seems insignificant. But later on it may not. And you'll know it's time for you to be finishing up your comments. I'm going to give you about 45 seconds between the two of you. When you hear the train whistle, 